Hello everybody, I'm Gornelf and welcome to another tutorial in Game Maker 2. Today I'll be finishing up the Pong tutorial. <laughs> There's some bugs there. Um, I'm going to be adding the scoring system, uh, the goals so you can score and showing off the scores and speeding up the ball when it touches the pads. So I hope it's going to be a real fast one. Uh, if you didn't see the um, previous one, click on the link on the video. I'm going to post it on the video. Um, and if you like my uh, tutorials, uh, don't forget to subscribe and give a like. And let's get uh, into it. So, what I did on the first one was making the pads move and the ball, the ball just went away. So we need to do, what we need to do is... We need to stop uh, the ball or to reset the ball when the ball hits a goal. It's a bit slow now, but it's for you guys to understand. Then you can change all of the speeds and speed it up. So what we're going to do now is create two new, two new, new objects. First of all, create a new sprite. It's creating a new sprite. Um, I think it's 32 by 32. Yeah. So this one's at 32 by 32. Change the name here to SPR underscore wall or ghoul. It's about a ghoul. Ghoul, let's call it ghoul. Here we have it 32 by 32. Oh, my num lock. Yes, okay, apply. Then we need to edit the image, yeah. Let's get the bucket here, fill bucket and fill it black so we don't see it in the background. That's why I'm painting it black. Um, you, you can paint it like red if you want to see it first. Let's try it out. Let's do it the, the red one so you can see where the goals are and see the collisions. Um, so we have our goal. Now we need to create two new objects. The object, oops. OBJ goal left. So we need to track the, the left collision. Sprite is the goal sprite. Leave it that way for now. Let's um, duplicate this one. Right click there and duplicate this one. Edit and call it goal right. Okay. Now go to your rooms. Double click on the room and Go to the instances, exactly, select the instances layer. And then you can just drag and drop the goal. And if you press, get your mouse on the uh, lower left corner, you can change the width and the height. I'm gonna drag and drop the left, the right goal and drag it so it gets like big. If you press, sorry, control key and um, the wheel on your mouse, you can zoom out and zoom in so you can have an overview of everything. So now we have our goals in here. So what we need to do is the collisions with the goals so you can score. So first of all, let's let's take care of that. So all the collisions, we'll, we'll do it, we'll continue doing them on the ball because it's the ball that collides with everything. So it's easier to keep all the collisions in one place um, so you can easily track them and change everything if you need it it's all in one place so let's add an event uh, let's add a collision event with the goal left okay so with the goal left what we want to do is so we have the jump to start one in here you can search in here like jump and you'll get the jump to point and jump to start. We want it to jump to the start point again. And the ball will jump to the start. And reset the speed. So speed. Or, sorry, assign variable. So let's go to the variables. Play, there. there they are in the common ones. Okay, so assign var below that. The var will be speed because we, we are using the speed the built-in speed variable and 
reset it to 6 that's the first speed that we have or the initial speed now we need to do this for the right goal okay let's duplicate the event so right click on the goal event duplicate the event and it'll ask you which collision you want it's for with the object goal right and then we get it object goal right jump to start and assign variable to six the speed let's test it out and see how it goes if it works so the ball will start and if it collides there go to the start again see so we have our, our reset is working right now so that's what we wanted let's keep track track of the the um, scoring system now so where are we going to keep the score um, variable I'm going to do it on the pads since the pads are the player one and player two or the player left and player right it's better to keep track of the variables those kinds of variables uh, regarding each of the players in the pads because those are the objects of the players that we have so let's go in here double click there it will open your um, pad object let's create a new event or oh, sorry here new event on the create event we'll create a new variable so I'll need to assign a variable and we'll let's call it underscore score because there's a built-in score that we don't want to use okay I'm gonna put in a value of zero okay so it's zero let's do the same for the pad right add event and sorry create event same thing assign variable drag and drop it underscore score and zero that's what we want so now we have the score our variable score now what you need to do is on the object ball again on the collisions with the pads we need to add something so in here what we need to do is assign a variable relative to uh, the pad right why because if the ball collides let's get it let's get it here so you guys can understand what I'm saying so on the left side we have the goal left and the pad left and on the right side we have the goal right the goal right and the pad right so okay so this is an error let's abort this and try again remove this what's going to happen is if the ball collides with the right goal the goal or the score will increase the left pad because this is the player that scored the goal so don't mess this up otherwise you don't understand what you're doing so remember colli collision with the right goal goes to the left pad and the collision with the left goal goes, goes to the right pad so the collision with the left goal the variable goes to the right pad okay so we'll get it there on the small arrow and select the right pad and change the variable to underscore um score and here we put plus one and we tick this box relative so we have in here as you see it says add one to score on object pad right that's why one that's why it's relative it's plus one relativity <laughs> relative to the score that was before in that um variable so this one is done let's go to the go right and add the assign variable again select the pad left underscore score let's do it plus one and tick the relative again okay so now we have our scores working but we can't see anything happen we don't know which player has uh which score or how many points each player has because if we go here there's a score from the left player but we can't see it so let's take care of that okay let's go to the pad left and in here let's add a new event let's add a draw event let's add a draw right 
exactly. So add a draw GUI event. And on the draw GUI event, what we want to do is, first of all, that's how we um, show in the screen our variables or anything, any numbers or uh, words that we want to show. We'll have to go to the drawing and we have a bunch of stuff in here. First of all, we need to choose the color, which is the bucket one. This one, draw, set draw color. So we set the color to black. Okay, because it's going to show on top of the white stuff or the white walls on, on the top. Um, so it's draw, set, draw color. And then we use the draw value, exactly. And in the draw value, we have a caption. And this is for the left one. So this is, let's call it player one, so P1. And then the value will be underscore score. And we want it on zero uh, or 10. So we get a bit uh, off from the left. And we're done. Let's go do the same on the pad right. Add an event. Add the draw event. Where's the draw? Draw, draw GUI. Yes, a stand, GUI stands for a graphic user interface. So, you know. Let's set the color to black. Let's add the draw value. Let's do it P2 and score as a value. And the X will be 900 because our room is 960 by 540. So that's what we want to do. Uh, let's hit play and see how it goes. And if you have everything, There we have the scores showing and then as you can see the scores are increasing one other thing that we need to do is to add uh, the speed up when we touch when our collision so let's do that let's speed up the ball to increase the difficulty of the game so let's go to the ball again double click on the ball on the collision with the pads we have to assign a variable again. Let's do it speed. And as we did for the score, let's use plus one and relative. So what we this will do is it's going to increase the speed every time the ball um, collides with the pads. So every time it touches a pad, it will increase the speed. Let's see how this goes. Variable there, variable speed. This is the built-in speed variable, plus one. Don't forget to tick the relative box and let's hit play again. Let's see if it increases the speed. Uh, as you can see, the speed increased a bit and it's gonna increase more. It's gonna get really hard after a while. Now you can see the difference already. Yes, there we go. Isn't this cool? You have your own Pong with scoring system and difficulty levels. Isn't that cool? I love it. So as I said, this is what's going to be uh, real quick uh, just to finish up this uh, tutorial. I hope you guys like it and learn anything uh, from me or from the code that I did not code here, but drag and drop. I'm going to start doing more tutorial tutorials after this one. So don't forget to follow and like if you like and comment if you don't understand anything or something or you want to see another tutorial. Uh, after this, I'm going to start doing tutorials with code and start uh, doing stuff, new stuff. Uh, so don't forget to follow and <laughs> Once again, uh, follow me on my social media, on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. Uh, the links I'm going to put all over here somewhere. Um, and as always, um, see you next time.